a warm welcome to the channel today is friday the 19th of july 2024 we have been covering quite extensively the latest developments with the free gorges dam some people would say why bother with this well imagine this there are 660 kilometers of water at approximately about 150 meters length uh, being supported by one dam if this dam breaks it's going to devastate a huge population, like 400 million, up to 400 million, on the lower parts of the Yangtze, Central China and Eastern China, all the way to Shanghai. That's why it is important. Personally speaking, the Free Gorges Dam should never have been built. But quite recently, this one has happened with this uh, title. 17th of July, two days ago, a landslide in this county. This is on the Free Gorges Dam Reservoir, and we can see the actual landslide as it was caught on camera. <laughs> We can also see from a different angle. So the building of this reservoir basically meant that millions of people had to be evacuated from their homes in this beautiful area called the Free Gorges. I've been very lucky in the past to actually go and visit it before the Free Gorges Dam uh, was there. Now that it is, this valley, so to speak, which had millions of people living there, is just like a big reservoir. And it's just not maintained. Well, virtually it's going to be impossible to maintain, but we can see some headlines over the last couple of days, maybe up to 10 days. Like this, Free Gorges Dam opens floodgates discharge to each pressure on the Yangtze braces for heavy rainfall. But it doesn't actually tell you about what happens downstream. Another headline we got, Free Gorges Dam overwhelmed, 11 floodgates opened, um, abandoning downstream Hubei, frequent dam failures is another one. And I can find one which I just found literally before I made this video. Uh, China Free Gorges Dam on flood alert as rain batters uh, mega city Chongqing. And let me just show you some pictures related to that. Other things which we haven't covered so far related to these floods and overflows and the 11 or 9 floodgates opening. We're not too sure because so many different sources say so many different things. But we do know the floodgates are open and that is a fact. CCTV is another headline we can bring up, said it had damaged nearly 1,800 acres of crops, caused direct economic losses of around 82 million yuan. That's about 11.3 million American dollars. Another one I'll come back to because it's really, really small. Hold on. This title, The Free Gorges Dam Opens Nine Deep Holes to Discharge Water in Yingchang the city close to the Free Gorges in central China's Hubei province, 15th of July, which is now four days ago. And other articles coming out from uh, Chinese state media in English. The Free Gorges Dam has opened its floodgates um, uh, to discharge first time this year, aiming to uh, alleviate flood control upstream, but not downstream. The world's largest hydropower pro project as rain shifts <clears throat> westward along the Yangtze River. The speed of the discharge from two sluice gates in, in the dam, Hupei province, which was, they're saying, 27,000 cubic meters per second uh, to 31,000 cubic meters. Now, I think the maximum is something like 70 or 80, so it's running about 50%. The forecast on Wednesday, said the upper reaches would, of the Yangtze would smell remarkably. So hence, this is why they're opening the gates. The thing is, before the Free Gorges Dam, there were floods, but as nothing as serious as that. So you can see this dam is not worth its price, um, price tag of around about 
30 billion. That's 30 billion dollars. And some other news articles just reiterates what is happening there. You can read it underneath. Maybe you can watch this video again. Just take out my volume and you can read it there. Sorry, it's in small print. This is just a copy and paste from what's been happening. Information for this, it comes from China News. It comes from China Daily. It comes from Xinhua News. It does come from international news like The Telegraph, The Observer, and one more, The Daily Mail, I do believe. But don't quote me on that. I can't remember because I'm scouring so many just to bring you this compact information related to it. The other thing I would like to mention with this one is that when you do hear these stories about the Free Gorges Dam flooding, overflowing, spill gates, sluice gates opening, a lot of these video channels don't show the actual uh, dam itself. They would show the aftermath. And you're sort of wondering why? Why are people allowed by the Free Gorges Dam or they closed it down to visitors, etc.? why there is no CCTV cameras there anymore. There was during 2020 and 2021, but they've seemed to operate no more when many people are interested in the biggest dam in the world. And if it did break, the catastrophe that would avail from that. It's all food for thought. And what I try to do with this channel is to gain information, but we're leading it from both sides not just the mainstream media, but also the Chinese media, and we have that interception. Of course, the Chinese media is very transparent. Huh. Yeah, look at COVID, for example. So, but what we get is an outline. Now, if the, if the Chinese media is saying something bad about China, it's usually going to be tr true, but is going to be instead of 1,000 people, they will drop it down to 100. I can't prove that. Maybe it's just a conspiracy theory in that way, but they seem to always underlie it. The videos that we showed at the beginning of the um, land, the landslide, that huge landslide, the very close to the Free Gorges Dam, that wasn't from state media or you could say international media, but real people with their phone. And that's the media you believe more than anything else. Thank you so much for your time. Do like, subscribe and share. Comment by all means. And if you want to donate to this channel, please do so. Everything is in the link in the description below. God bless you all. Have a marvellous day wherever you are. Bye-bye.